Hi, I'm Craig Davis from Mount Gambier On Course Golf. Welcome to another episode of Quick Fix. So I'm faced with a shot where the pin's quite close to the green at the moment, but I'm in quite thick rough. Now this is going to be very common for you members of the Mount Gambier Golf Club over the coming months. We're going to get a lot of growth. We're going to see a lot of shots that only miss the target by a short amount end up in very long grass. It's going to be hard for us to stick up, uh, keep up with the, uh, the, gr the cutting of the grass. So we need to understand what we have to try and do in order to get that ball effectively out of the grass and get it up somewhere close to that pin. So a lot of you probably commonly chip with a, a, a lower lofted golf club like a pitching wedge or a nine iron. The problem that we're going to have with that is that as the club comes down into the grass, it's actually not going to allow the ball to pop straight up in the air. So we're going to get a lot of grass resistance as that ball flies off. It's going to give us a lot of difficulty in trying to control the distance. So our very first point of call is to throw that wedge or nine iron away and go back to a sand iron if that's all you've got or even a 60 degree or a 58 degree. The problem that we have with that is when we go to a club that has more loft, the ball doesn't travel as far. So we do need to make the swing slightly longer than what we would if we were chipping this shot with a nine iron or a pitching wedge normally. The other part to that is that because we're getting grass resistance, the golf club's going to try and slow down as it comes through the grass and in turn catch the ball. And we're going to find there's going to be grass that gets between the ball and the grooves on the golf club. So it's going to remove all of the spin that comes out off that ball. So I'm expecting that when I hit this shot, that not only do I have to make a slightly bigger swing and maintain the speed through the hit, that I'm also going to see the ball run and release on the green and the ground a lot more than it normally would if I was just playing this off a fairway tight lie. So I'm going to play it just like a normal chip shot, but I'm just making the smart decision that the club is going to slow down, the ball is not going to travel as far, so I'm going to make the swing slightly longer and try and get that club working through the longer grass as well as I can. So if you like what you saw today, please click the link below to book now. I'd love to help you game.